Hello to the Equalist Empire! So as you can see by the title, this video is a menstrual cup video and uh, I just, I got my period when I was in college but then I didn't have it on me at the time I was at home so this is the first time I'm gonna try to wear it and I'm gonna vlog the experience of how using a menstrual cup is and this is what it looks like and uh, the stick was longer but I wanted to practice how to like put it in and put it out before I actually used it so I did and I realized this was a little bit too long for me so I cut it like you're allowed to cut like the stick part of it I'm not showing you just like any um, just any menstrual cup just like that it is sterilized even though I didn't have my period then I still sterilized it after using it okay so now it's in and I can't feel it at all which is a big sign that it's probably like perfectly in but still I'm a little bit worried uh, I don't I'm not sure if I've done it right and they say that if you've just started using a menstrual cup you should uh, wear a panty liner you know in the beginning so I forgot to tell you all that I use the pinch down for so I just did my normal workout at the gym and in the beginning it was quite fine for quite a while it was fine uh, because I trekked in between but then after a while towards the end it started getting a little bad and there are some leaks, really tiny, really less but I need to go home and figure out what I did wrong so I realized that my cup was not fully open last time because now when I felt around it uh, after I put it in I realized it, was, it felt like it had actually opened and last time I felt a little bit dent and I hope now it's perfect to wake up nicely on a period night and not think oh my god did I overwear my tampon am I gonna get TSS because I woke up perfectly and look at this no leaks at all but today is the biggest test because it's my second day and my second day is the heaviest so let's see if the cup can hold up I know I should be a poet so I didn't have like a big leak but a tiny thing again like yesterday and I think it's maybe because I didn't put it properly or my cervix moved or something <laughs> I don't know uh, but I put it properly again let's see it's if it's perfect so there have been no leaks since then at all which is amazing and it's been quite a lot of hours <laughs> it's been almost an entire day and that's great so i'm just gonna change it once now and then directly tomorrow morning when i wake up my bed's still clean well it's covered by bags but it's still clean it's a driving class and i had no issues at all except for the driving part i had issues with that but not with the cop and uh, now i'm just getting dressed i'm going out with my friends and I haven't changed my cup in a really long time, so that's amazing. Also, I had a little tip. If I feel like, you know, the cup hasn't gone as inside as I wanted to, I do a little bit of Kegel. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. Or it's just like, you know, clenching your vagina muscles so that the cup just gets a hold. That hard though. So that the cup just gets a hold to, you know, pull itself in. So when I was out, I felt a little something in between. And then I went and checked. And I realized that my cup was full. This is the first time that has happened in me using the cup that it actually got completely full. So that happened and I immediately just like changed it though there wasn't any leak. Like I think every single time that you wear the cup wrong, I don't think there'll be a chance of a huge leak because as soon as it uh, goes out of the cup and you know kind of comes out, you understand that something's wrong basically. So I slept for more than 12 hours and I changed my cup a little bit before uh, sleeping that was you know when I was out so that ended up me keeping the cup in me for longer than the recommended 12 hours but you know I was not so worried because uh, when you sleep you don't bleed that much but still if 12 hours is recommended you should change it but I was still sleepy but don't do it <laughs> don't do it I didn't have any issues uh, and like no complications because of that but still Uh, I just did my skating dance practice. I'm going to be performing in a couple of weeks about that. I will put a link to the actual dance right here. You can see it. But yeah, I was doing the whole thing and no leaks at all. So that's great. And also, I think I've really improved in how to put and remove the cup because in the past three, four times that I've done it, I've had no issues at all. So I think practice makes perfect in that. 
so tomorrow is the last day of my period but tomorrow is sunday when i have to post this video so i'm gonna end this vlog now but i have some things to say before i end it one is that now i know that because it's so much towards the end i'm gonna have a very dry passage where you know the menstrual cup might not be able to go so i've got this lubricant they say you should use KY jelly instead but i'd already bought this i didn't choose a panty liner today and i really doubt i would for my next cycle and the one after that either but uh what i will do is that i would take a little bit of tissue paper and put it you know on my panty after i change my cup because you know in between that period of you removing it emptying the contents and putting it back in there's obviously some uh, blood which is there in the vagina and i wouldn't want that you know the, it'll, it'll barely be any spots but still i wouldn't want that to spoil my amazing panties either <laughs> also last thing uh, there is this youtuber by uh, the name of precious star period something like that i will link her channel down below I'm telling you she's amazing anything period anything about cups pads tampons anything her channel is the go to channel and I see myself as like completely stopping tampons and pads till it's not a necessity where I don't have my cup in my bag but yeah I'm I'm going to be a cup lady now